What's going on people? Welcome to GFX Capture and in today's video we're going to be showing you how to create a film strip or reel in 3D style animation in After Effects. You can use this for your channel intros, product intros or video openers. You can use still images or videos or both uh, for this purpose. So without further ado, let's jump in. So I'm going to take a new composition and I will call it my main comp and it will be 1920 by 1080 and a 10 seconds duration is fine now the next thing I want to do is to download all my images that I'm going to be using okay import them now after you've downloaded your images and all your media files into your project I'm going to take a new composition and the new composition is going to be about 3000 800 by 1080 pixels uh, take it 10 seconds as well okay and I'm gonna call it uh, let's change the name I'm gonna call it real okay I'm gonna take another composition and I'm gonna call it media a and change that to 1920 and take another composition media B um, in a few moments uh, it, you will find out why I'm creating these so just give me one second media C and that's 1920 by 1080 okay so in each of them I'm gonna uh, insert one of the images uh, let's make this into media A media B will have uh, like this and in media C I'm gonna down add this one in okay and I'm also gonna uh, uh, change the scale of it something like this and for this one again do the same if your image is small then that's okay but my images are slightly too big so I just need to adjust them okay that's all now in the reel what we need to do is to download um, our PNG image uh, so drag that in here and again uh, scale it down to the size so it looks something like uh, 43 or maybe 44 is good for this one okay so it just uh, um, covers the the uh, the frame the next thing I want to do is obviously I don't want just one uh, box of, of this reel and um, I want to extend it to the left and the right. For that what you need to do is you go to effects and presets and you type in or search for repeat tile. Um, it's a short for repeat tile. Okay and drag that onto the image here. Now in the effects and controls um, you need to expand it to the left and the right you can do it to, to down as well depending on, on your composition but for me I'm just gonna do it to the left and the right okay so I'm just gonna increase this as much as I need for example here and then the same I'm gonna do it um, on the left side so 2864 okay and that will add you can add more as well to it if, if you need to okay so these are our um, uh, so this is our reel or our film strip um, the next thing I want to do close this effects and controls and the media a B and C that I created earlier on what we're gonna do is basically um, import them um, in here okay so just simply drag and drop them okay now the media a um, will go in the center and I want my media B to go to the left and media C to go to the right um, for that what I can do is I can just go on to the position for media B press P okay and you just drag or change the value of your X axis push it down slightly you can actually go into the media and change the image um, if you need to but that's totally up to you um, so the next one is then uh, media C, uh, click on position, 
then I'm going to drag it to the right. Also drag it down a bit as well, just so that we can see the image properly. Okay, and the media A, I think I just want to push it down a bit. There you go. I think that should do it nicely. Okay, so obviously you can see that they are, the, the images are overlapping and they're actually going into one, um, one from one box to the other. To stop this from happening, what we can easily do is click on the media A and go to the rectangle tool so we can actually create a mask over it. Okay, so you do something like this. Okay, and you do the same for media B and media C. There you go. And then finally, the media C do exactly the same. Um, it just gives you that nice professional sort of um, look and image and feel. Okay, that's all. The next thing I want to do is you can, it's totally optional, but you can do it is to add some text to it. Okay, so I'm just gonna um, uh, press over here maybe and say, um, something like fishing, I don't know, whatever you want to call it. And you can, because it's not visible, because it's below um, the the media B. So I'm just gonna push it forward, bring it to the top, uh, just underneath the film reel PNG. And there you have it. Okay, um, quickly just change the, the color so that it's a bit more visible. And there you have it. Now, of course, you can change the position or you can change the, the fonts. It's totally up to you. I'm just going to keep this here and maybe give it a bit more uh, bold sort of look. So I can go for something slightly different font. Um, again, it's totally up to you. Um, if you want to use it, fine. If not, then uh, it depends on your composition. Okay, so there you have it. Okay, and oops. I didn't want to do that. Maybe I can just push it here. And then I'm going to do Control D to duplicate it. And then push this one to here. And you, I can change it to something like Holiday. And again, I'm going to duplicate this. Control D and then push it right over here. Okay, and you can call it um, whatever you like, just depends on your images that you have or um, your composition. Something like that. Okay, of course, this is totally optional, but it gives you a feel of what you can do with it. Okay, so this is our kind of a reel um, that we have made. Now, of course, you can add more details to it. This does look a bit unfinished to me. Um, so what I'm gonna do is slightly add more um, information to it, if you like. Um, and I'm gonna go to text again, and I'm gonna type in here, R-A-W, raw. Okay, and I'm going to change the font slightly and also the color as well to make it look the same as one of these. Okay, how does that look? Uh, not too bad, but let's see. Yeah, that will do, I think. Um, and for this one, I'm just going to, again, duplicate it with Control D and then with Position P, I'm just going to drag it all the way this way. Okay, so as I said, you can add more detail to it. You can add more numbers to it just to make it look a bit more professional. You can, you can 
add pause play stop whatever you whatever you want really okay so that's that um, now I'm gonna close this um, reel okay and I'm gonna import the the reel in here okay and the other thing I want to do with it is to actually make it 3d okay and also add a camera to it so 50 uh, millimeter is fine and we're gonna go and add a null object to it as well obviously the null object we need to change the anchor point um, so for that just uh, select the null object um, click on control and then double click on pan behind the anchor tool and that will make it into a um, anchor point to a center um, of the null object okay and the other thing I want to do is make this a 3d as well um, and I'm gonna rename this to camera control and then pick with it the camera to the null object okay um, the other thing I want to do is just slightly push um, or change the position of uh, the, the reel um, and how I'm going to do that is to slightly push it back into the, the, the Z or the Z dimension. Okay, you can actually add more um, uh, repeated tiles to it as well. Um, simply just go to effects and presets, um, repeat tile, uh, which is short for repeat tile, and then click on here and then add more. okay so something like this the other thing is obviously you can change the um, uh, rotation of this so I'm just gonna make it something like this I want to animate the position as well so the position starting point should be I want it somewhere around here okay and after about one and a half seconds or so or two seconds maybe um, I'm gonna change that to over here okay let's see how it looks okay so not bad um, okay so once you've done this um, the next thing I want to do is to go into the um, anchor points and press F9 on it to make it easy ease um, go to the, the graph editor and then change the speed so that it comes in very quickly and then slows down okay so it gives you that nice uh, professional to um, look the other thing I want to do is add a background to it okay so close this one and I'm gonna go to the the background which I have something like this okay and then I'm gonna make it a bit blurry as well And the other thing I want to do is to go to the, the read itself and then I'm going to start um, duplicating this. So with the control D, duplicate this and I'm going to animate. Um, sorry, I'm just going to make sure that there's no um, animation on it. Oops, I didn't want to do that. Delete and then delete that as well. Okay, and for this one, I'm going to bring it to uh, here and I'm going to rotate it in a totally different direction something like this um, push it even back so that it is behind so it starts from here okay and I'm gonna animate the position as well same simple thing um, after about one and a half seconds um, I want that to oops this to go somewhere around here and then go even back okay and the scale I want to slightly make it even more smaller 
There you go. And this one also, press F9 on it, go to the graph editor and do exactly the same as we did with the, the other one. Okay. Um, and after that, I'm gonna, again, um, duplicate this, press U to delete any keyframes. And then this one, I want to actually bring it down here. Okay, and you can play around with it. You can you can um, change the position. You can actually change the style. You can change the animation. Um, add a bit of wiggle to it or a bounce to it when it appears or when it actually uh, uh, stops. So you can do also all sorts of things with it. But I just wanted to show you how how we can actually um, create this kind of a real. Um, animation intro um, to it so there you have it so I'm gonna take this um, down there um, click on the position and when it goes to about one and a half seconds I want to add that and just bring it over there again F9 on it go to graph editor Simple things, right? And that's it. So, as I said, um, this is just the basics of, of how we can add or, or animate a, a film reel or, or um, how we can actually create this for a product introduction or a product videos or promos, etc, etc. You can play around with it, add more animations to it, but um, the basics are actually there anyway. Um, so I hope you liked the video. If you are new to the channel, please think about subscribing, um, hit that like button, and we will see you in the next video. Thanks, bye.